Hey, this is Clint from JRC. Um, just working on a wing at the moment. Um, Want to give you a tutorial on how I flush mount my uh, servos to inside the foam. Um, obviously, you're looking to reduce all the drag, and you don't want it sticking out. So you want to minimise the what's actually there. So at the moment, I've already done one. Might be a bit hard to see, but I'll grab the camera. Alright, so. So basically all I do is just trim it away and cut it in. So what I'll do is I'll show you how I actually achieve that, how I do that. So start off with got the lead. Here's a servo I'm going to use. There's a rod. I've already measured those out roughly. Now the way I work that out roughly is um, get your servo so that it's running pretty much at right angles to the body. Okay, and I've already guessed, or well not guessed before, but measured out roughly. I wanted to fit this in between the two spars that I've got running down the body. So basically, what I'm going to do to do that is you just shove rod back inside the servo, servo horn. All right, get that upright. Get your horn back, or your cleaver spin back onto the to the horn. Now, <laughs> to make sure that your control surface is sitting about right, what I do is I get the ruler, sit the ruler underneath the wing on the flat flat bottom, so that your surface sits about it sits flat with the bottom of the wing. That way, now your servo. It's going to sit where it needs to be. It takes a lot of the guesswork out of trying to get it right at the end. So, Alright, next I get my pen. I basically just draw the outline of the servo. What you're going to see here is when I draw around this the the control horn. I'm not sure the control, but the the rod. I have a an open box area, a section where it's obviously free to move in, so you don't limit the movement on it. Generally, get a bit of a problem at the top. You can just V out. Just cut a little V into that if you want to eliminate the the up or the the binding that happens. So basically, you can see what I've done is mark out where you see. So basically, from there, all we do is go and cut that out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna a real hard one. So now what I've got is the, you've got the two little stubs that come out the side of the servos that are normally used for mounting down. We'll just cut where I've marked that is out, just a couple of little V things. They help, I suppose, pinch it into place well, before you glue it in. All right. I'll show you that in a second with the, the binding that you get at the top. All right, so now what I've got. Basically, our servo sits in there snugly. Now, the table's hanging out at the moment, but obviously, I feed that down the inside of the the body through the between the two spars. So where I'm going to have my servo and oh, sorry, not the servo, but my receiver. Um, obviously, not that hard. I'll do 
그래서 자 여러분 이제 해드리 제발 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 이제 우리 슈아벨레나 어허 I've left the server sitting up for a bit. Most of you are going to get, oh no, he's going to burn his finger on the hot glue. My hot glue gun doesn't get that hot. Um, got two temperature settings and on the low setting it seems to be fine. I haven't burnt myself yet. I have gotten close a couple of times, but yeah. But anyway, so that is basically how I flush me out my servos. Now, talking before about the, the top end binding at the trouble of the Right here, yeah. so those. See how much fry I've got plenty of fry there, but if you wanted more fry, let's say for more acrobatic play, see how basically where I mark that triangle is where it's going to bind. So, what I do is just move that back and you just cut at an angle, you don't have to cut it all the way in. V, you're just cutting a recess out. So now, I've actually allowed it to travel further. Any more than that, I have to bend up the end of my uh, rod so that it doesn't foul on the body. But basically, I think you get the idea. That's how I surface mount my servos. Cheers. Okay, I'll see ya.